Good morning. Welcome to the B.F. Anderson Technical Report for July 21st. Bull markets are born on pessimism, grown on skepticism, mature on optimism, and die on euphoria. The time of maximum pessimism is the best time to buy, and the time of maximum optimism is the best time to sell. Sir John Templeton, who was a great money manager, uh, respect him greatly. Now, if we look at the <clears throat> the bull bear ratio, you can see that we've gotten extreme pessimism. So if Templeton is right, this is where bull, the new bull markets will be born. Because what will happen, and this is what complicates matters, is when you start a new bull market, it's going to be led by stocks that are completely different from the past bull market. It's just a changing of the guard. So it's important to be flexible and understand that. Now, prepare for the worst, hope for the best. That has a lot to do with portfolio management. In other words, you need to learn how to survive first the bear markets, and then if things get better, you're ready to go. So let's take a look at where we are. We're seeing some real improvement here. This is the best improvement I've seen in about 16 months. So it's been quite a, a doozy of a bear market. So you can see here that you know, the NASDAQ's been heading down. Now remember what the rule is. The rule is we want to see that lower moving average turning up, which it is, and the index is actually above both moving averages. That's very strong. Here is the mid-cap stocks. You're seeing strength there. You see the lower moving average turning up. Now the rule is we want to see, we're going to look at five indexes. Three out of five need to be uh, on this type of pattern in order to qualify for a buy signal. Here's New York Stock Exchange kind of turning up a little bit. Now you got to realize there's a lot of banks in this particular in this particular index. <clears throat> Small cap stocks actually showing the most strength. Uh, you can see this is very impressive. Now one thing about the small cap indexes is, is this is what you call a risk on risk, risk off uh, index because if the institutions start buying the small cap stocks, it means that their confidence and their their need for greed is starting to pick up. Here's the S&P 500. So basically, we have got three out of five of these indexes giving a buy signal. Very positive. Also, if you notice here on the aggression index, we, you know, we kind of based out, double bottom. Uh, we're breaking back above the lower moving average. Lower moving average is turning up. Now remember, this is a comparison of the NASDAQ to the consumer staple stocks or technology compared to toothpaste. And we're seeing some real improvement there. Now, it would be really nice to see this thing break out of this base, which it's very close to doing. Also, we're noticing a big improvement in the new lows. Uh, yesterday we had, well, actually on Tuesday, we only had 48 new lows. We're getting down below 40 or close to below 40 here, which is a very positive sign. So we're seeing good news here. Now, this is that Renaissance Fund. This is a uh, ETF that invest in companies that have gone public in the last couple of years. And you can see, again, it's above the lower moving averages, breaking out. You got somewhat of a base here. I think, uh, I think that's a good sign as well. Now, on our economic indicators, we, cut, we continue to keep an eye on interest rates, which are flattening out here at around 3%. Price of oil kind of downtrending, you know, trying to hang around about $100 a barrel. Financial stocks are downtrending, however, you know, seeing a little bit of improvement there. Now, on the trend strength, we're getting the, the strongest trend strength readings we've seen in quite a while. I mean, we're at 25% where we've been at 0% for, pretty ex for months for an extended period of time. So this is the NASDAQ. Trend strength is now improving up to 25%. S&P 500, same thing, up to 25% on the trend strength. Good reading. On the volatility index, it's settling down. We, you know, we got up around here, never got that capitulation we were lo really looking for, but it's it's settling down, looking somewhat positive. On the yield curve, now <clears throat> the thing about recessions is now this is pretty much saying we're inverting on the uh, you know the ten-year Treasury bond versus the two-year Treasury bond. When you get that inversion, it usually indicates a recession. Well, you know, what I've learned in the years of the past is, is that the market all this time has been discounting a recession. Now, is it going to discount a recovery? That's kind of the way it works. You know, there's a historic study out there that says that 
when the market, now there's exceptions, it's not 100%, but there, there are most of the time, when the market's down 20% in the first half of a year, which this one is, the second half of the year is up 20%. So hopefully that's the case. Now this is the ARK Innovation Fund. This is another ETF that specializes in, you know, like their big position was Tesla and things like that. You can see here we've kind of developed a double bottom here in the ARK Fund, and it has broken out above a trend line and actually starting to turn up. This is a very uh, risk-on type of fund, and so let's see what happens. Now, also I wanted to mention that the SSO, this is another ETF. This is a uh, levered fund. This is a two times levered fund. So in other words, it, it's an index of the S&P 500, but it's two times. So it goes up twice as much or it goes down twice as much. So you kind of get a, a somewhat of a reading. But you can see here I drew a trend line coming off that high, got good connections along the way, and it's breaking out above that trend line. That's, that's positive. Now, on the top five stocks that we're looking at, this is Consolidated Energy, which is coal. Uh, it continues to look okay. I would uh, say that, you know, it's interesting that it's coal, but that's what's kind of strong right now. Uh, Celsius Holdings. This is a soft drink or an energy drink company. I've actually used the product. It's, it's, it's a good product. They're out of Boca Raton, Florida. Stock's been in somewhat of an uptrend, kind of volatile, but uh, there's also a rumor out there that Pepsi-Cola may be buying this company, so just be aware of that. Enphase Energy, which is solar, uh, solar and batteries, uh, above the 10-day moving average. 10-day uh, moving average is turned up. Stock's breaking out, making new highs. You know, it's surprising because that was uh, in the middle of the Biden uh, environmental package that doesn't look like it's going to pass, but these solar stocks continue to look good. Lanthius, which is a medical tech company having to do with uh, injections for, for doctors. And basically, you can see here, we got a nice base breaking out of that base. The medical stocks are really looking uh, like potential leadership. Here is uh, Scorpio Tankers. This is oil tankers. Uh, the stock you know, pulled back. I said, let's just watch it. Last couple of weeks, I was just saying, let's watch it. Shoot, but it's now breaking out to new highs, so it does look somewhat positive. So all in all, things have improved dramatically here in the last week. Hopefully, we're starting a new bull market. So if you have any questions about this, don't feel free to call. Thank you very much.